Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. I understand we had a pretty memorable night last night for our boy Danny. Uh-oh. Danny, what happened last night? You're at a show and there was there was drama? There was. I got in a fight. <laughs> wow. Like a like real fight? Up, like fisticuffs? Yeah. Yeah. What? Me, me and my girlfriend. Okay. Wait, wait. Was your girlfriend drunk? Y- yes. We were both kind of wasted. But then we decided that we were going to fight a big guy. <laughs> Ah, tag team. Okay, so, so what the hell, Steve? I need your opinion on this. So we were we were in the bar most of the night, and we decided for the the headliner, we were going to go down for the last two songs. What, what show was this? First of all, the band's called State Champs. Okay, I've heard of them. They're a very very pop punk band. Yeah, and shocking that you were at a pop punk concert, right? So yeah. not not aggressive at all. And uh, we decided for the last two songs for the encore, we were going to go down to the pit because we were tired of being up in the bar, and so we. Could be the first ones out. What club was this? It was at Showbox. Okay. Soto or uh, Market? Market. Okay. So we're standing towards the end of the, the pit and you know, everyone's having a good time. It's a bunch of teens, like teens and college kids. We're just like watching the show. Right. And all of a sudden this big guy, he's probably about 6'3", big burly guy, just plows through us. Okay. He goes into the pit and starts hardcore dancing. Now, for those of you who don't know, who don't know what hardcore dancing is, it's not just normal moshing, pushing back and forth. He's throwing, he's swinging his throwing arms. punches, throwing kicks, uh-huh. you know, and really kind of hitting He's an old everyone. school mosher. Yeah, and it was like, okay, there's a bunch bunch of teenage girls around kind of like there to see this band that you know 22 year old guys like and he's throwing kicks and i was like well whatever he's doing his thing the thing that got so i push him into the pit more well he okay. comes back and starts kind of like elbowing me and i was like all right whatever so then he throws a kick and his kick lands very close to my broken hand oh, and close to my girlfriend and i was like dude Come on. So I push him again. Okay. And I push him harder this time into the middle of the pit. And um, once again, he starts throwing kicks. So I went, in, I went into the pit and I push him. He turns around and looks at me. I was like, dude, calm down. You're at a pop punk show. He just all of a sudden right ar- right uh, right hook to my head. Oy, oy, oy. Breaks my glasses. Oh, shit. Yeah. And I was like, I was kind of taken off guard for like now it's go time. Two seconds. And I just I just went at him and I hit him as hard as I could. With the bad hand? With my bad hand. Jesus. With with my splint. And I hit him as hard as I could. He fell to the ground. Then he gets up. I'm being pulled away by security. And then as I'm being pulled away, I look, I see my my girlfriend who's five foot three. Oh boy. From the back of the pit, spider monkey jump onto this guy <laughs> and just starts pounding his face as hard as she can. Now he hits her in the face. Oh, damn. And then like four or five girls jump on this guy. Oh my god. They pull him down. What and so you app? think at this point it's done, right? Battle Royale. I'm damn. so mad at this point. Right. I'm so angry <laughs> that I just he's on the ground covered by like four girls who are trying to calm him down. I, I run I've up clicked to him. on those thumbnails before. Yeah. <laughs> I run up to him and I just punch him in the face four times oh, as hard as I can. I got pulled off again by showgoers this time. Okay. And the guy gets kicked out and me and my girlfriend are just like at the end of the pit. We're waiting to get kicked out. No one kicks us out. Huh. People keep coming up to us and they're like, are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? I was like, dude, you can't. You can't. I'm fine with it, but you can't punch me in the face. You can't sucker punch me and not. Oh, well, sure. You I mean, can't ex- expect that to get hit back. So I, and you can't expect that I'm not going to fight back. Wow. You know, before all this happened, I just assumed you two were just drunk idiots, but you had every right to swing back at the guy. Right. I mean, if the guy punched you in, in first of all, yeah, he's a, he's being a douche at the show. Yeah. But typically when I see guys like that, I'm like, I right, just go do whatever you want. Just don't hit anybody, you know? Right. But, 
Right. The fact that he swung at you and he kept coming back at you, what are you going to do at that point? You have to do it. Like, at that point, I was just like, I can't, I don't know, I didn't want to get in a fight because I was like, I'm going to break my arm again. I'm pretty sure. I just sure. love that you punched him with the bad hand. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. You got to work on your left hook. I do really how's your, do. How's your hand feel, Danny? It was hurting last night, but it seems okay now. <laughs> My left elbow hurts more. That's I the think beauty of alcohol. Yeah. Everything's relaxed. He <laughs> yeah. probably wasn't too tied up on it. You know. Wow. Yeah. I love the part. I wish somebody had video of this of your girl just jumping over everybody, oh gosh. landing yeah. on him, and then just yeah. start punching him in the head. I did not expect that. But she, as Rev, how much did that turn you on? It was great. Yeah. Yeah. As Rev <laughs> describes, it, she was Tinker. She's kind of like Tinkerbell. Like once you piss her off, she's gonna. She goes crazy. And yeah. I was like, she oh, goes my nuts. Lord. Yeah. Oh really? I'm so surprised. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Vicky, you're gonna be not- safe in the pit. <laughs> when I take you into a pit. <laughs> so this is where you want to go, huh, Vicky? You really want to go? See, but Vicky likes yeah, pain. A little bit. Yeah. This is totally, that so turns me off. It's like, I, I would never oh, really? want to. really? I'm yeah. shocked that you're not into I'm getting not into a pit and punching no. people. <laughs> I don't want some six foot moron all of a sudden deciding that he's going to start, you know, kicking and punching and elbowing people. It's like, yeah, that is not me. Yeah. And that's, that, by the way, that was never me. I would think, okay, you know, I'm older now, but would I have been this in the 20s? Tw- no, in my 20s, I'd be like, I don't want anything to do with this either. Well, I don't think anybody wants anything to do with that. I mean, I don't oh. think Danny wanted anything to do with that, but then a guy punches him in the head and, and you're in that moment of, okay, fight or flight. Oh, I would have been done. Like, as soon as, like, aggressive guy came in, uh-huh. that's when I'm leaving. I'm like, okay, this guy's a moron. I am out of here. Even before it all happened. That's you never know. You never know until it happens. Yeah. Let's oh, you bring you into oh, the pit and see what happens. No, I, yeah. I know. That's the thing. I'm BJ not pit guy. Pit. I am you, not pit guy. I mean, I always have thought in my life, I'm like, oh, I'm the chillest guy in the world. But when somebody swings at you, all of a sudden, you see red. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying, I, if I, I mean, if I had a fight or flight thing, well, I'd probably flight. Uh, but that's just, my brain tells me, okay, so there could be aggressive behavior in there. I will not go in there because I'm not an aggressive guy. I'm a verbally aggressive guy, but uh-huh. but physically, as soon as that guy was there, it's like, all right, we're out. It's a, like it's a pop punk show. Yeah. As soon as it turned into I mosh mayhem, yeah, yeah I, this wasn't like God's Hate you were going to see or no. yeah. Cannibal Corpse. It's I mean they're very they're they're very tame pop punk. As band. soon as that guy came they're, in yeah. and I saw him kicking. Like like you said, I'm back up to the bar. Yeah. I'm like, this is not going to end well. Someone's going to get hurt. I that's what I'm saying. I'm abandoning ship because I see <laughs> that the iceberg coming before you did, Danny. I have to put it out there that if it was like a mad ball show or like a hardcore show, mm-hmm. I would have been like, go ahead, like that's, that's fine. Just what you expect that's what you expect. But at a state champs show, it's like, oh come on. Plus, he's the biggest fish in the pond. Yeah, you know. And you said there's a lot of high school girls there, yeah, or there young, like, young girls. You know, it's just like, what are you doing? I love that everybody jumped on. Him. I'm like, what was, the, what was that, that that old kid story of like the big Jack and the Beanstalk kind of guy? I can't remember the big guy and then all like the little people jump on. Oh, oh yeah, it's a Lilliput. Yeah, uh, Gulliver's. Yeah, yes. Gulliver's yeah. Travel. Yeah. picturing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Danny went on a Gulliver's travel last yeah. night. Oh my gosh. Well, this is isn't intense. that interesting though that the, like the women were like, screw this, we're not taking this. Well, and it was because she he punched her. Like, that's she, what she yeah, punched my girl. I mean, that's yeah. why I went and hit him. A lot of times. times, I mean, it's amazing how society has changed because sometimes people would run away from that. Like if you're you know if you were like oh. This guy's a crazy person. I'm going to run away. But they all were like, F that. You punched uh, one of my sisters? I'm coming at you, bro. Very important question, though, from a texter. The only question is, did Danny V destroy his makeup? How'd the makeup hold up? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. You know what? I didn't have a chance to put on makeup last night. What? Look at him now. Actually, to a show. He looks weird today, and it's because he has no guy liner on today. Yeah. Yeah, Somebody texted, don't start fights with guys with eyeliner. But Danny didn't have eyeliner. If you had the eyeliner, I bet nothing would have happened. Nothing would have happened. That is probably true. Maybe he was just mad because I didn't fit in. Yeah. That person, nice job, Danny. Standing up in the face of confrontation says that you're definitely not from Western Washington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. A lot of people, yeah, yeah, a lot of people would have been out. Do you think that guy thought, oh, well, I'm at this, like, kind of, you know, real tame punk band show? I'm going to go in there and flex my hardcore muscles because he knew that he could get away with being that oh, guy. Yeah, you know what pickings. I mean? Yeah. He yeah. probably doesn't. He's probably not even the guy that would do that at a mad ball show or at a sick of it all oh, show. Oh, you're or, probably right. And so there he is in there being like, I can finally do it with no repercussions. Yeah. But he picked the wrong did guy. Did a little bully bashing, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. It, did, it backfired. Yeah. And he, I mean, he was, a, he was a big guy. Like, I mean, like you said, biggest fish in the pond. Like, the pit had people pushing and stuff like that until he got there. And then he was the only one in the pit just throwing punches. And I was like, dude, come on. Just stop. Uh, yeah, I that, know your crowd. Yeah, really. Throwing punches, man. Throwing and punches kicks. and kicks. 
Okay, that's not me. See, why do you think that would ever be a fun time for me? I don't know. I just want to see how it goes. Oh, yeah, yeah you yeah, do. Yeah. Totally, yeah. totally, yeah. You won't even be there. You'll be in the bar oh, with a thing I'll of popcorn. Right, I'll be right there, right by your side. Oh, you sure should you will. Those- we'll go back to back, kind of like one of those old yeah. 80s action oh, films. Jeez. <laughs> and we'll just start swinging, BJ. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? I'm, I'm the I'm the plucky guy on the computer. That's or we what I create am. Like a whole circle of us, like yeah. all the members of like Danny and me yeah. and Vicky and you and Rev and yeah. your kids as well. Oh we yeah, should, let's yeah. do it. We should put him in one of those bubble soccer kind of bubbles yes. and just have him thrown around. That way oh. you'll be safe. Yeah, and you'll still get experience. Oh. Yeah. I'll be Bubble Boy. But when we announce Pain in the Grass and we say everything that's going to be going down on Monday morning, I'd say we start looking into getting one of these. Okay. (laughs) Fine. Perfect. It would be great to see Vicky in it, too, because she wants a crowd surf. Oh, my God. A crowd surf in one of those things would be the greatest thing ever because I think everyone would treat you like a giant balloon. Yeah. Just trying to get you as high as possible. (laughs) Yeah. That would be awesome. I I love that idea. Take some Dremamine or something because I might vomit. But it'd be hardcore. If it's, yeah, oh yeah. I almost just spoiled with certain band heads playing. Oh, but sorry, they're not show. till Monday. Oh, wow, yeah. I mean, people pretty rage pretty hard for Taylor Swift. Yeah, yes. sure, exactly. As, <laughs> see, now they're going to put you. Wumba. They're going to put you on the moratorium like they put me because they don't tell me anything because I know I'll spoil shows. I know. So I won't know until I actually get the stupid paper in front of me on Monday. Uh, uh, for some you, reason in my head, I thought yeah. we already made the announcement. Dear yeah. Hair Club, <laughs> see, it's not me. <laughs> It's Steve. I didn't do it, though. Yeah. You would have. Yeah. Oh, you're probably right. <laughs> but, you know, you're getting close there, buddy. All right. Yeah, Don't anyway. Like, off or I'm going to sick Danny on you. Yeah. yeah. So, actually, forget Danny. Danny's girlfriend. Danny's a pushover. Too. Danny's girlfriend, Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He teed it up, and then she knocked it down. And she's also like Aquaman. She got the rest of the fish in the pond to come at the guy. All right. She's spider uh, Aqua woman. Without getting too personal, uh, did the night end with uh, a celebration? No, it started that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, probably wow. why we had the started that way. You're supposed to be docile yeah, at that I mean, point. Boxers typically won't go down that road. Yeah. Wow. You had to get your aggression back up since you, you know, basically, you know, already went to the gym. You well, had to go for another workout. Hey, we went, we were out until 1230. And oh, the, yeah. yeah. And it was just like 1230. Yeah. yeah. And you're fighting people. Yeah. Ought to be young. It's on the show end. Uh, it was like midnight. It was they went on late. I was kind of mad about Jeez. that. Like, come on, guys! Damn. It's a Thursday night. Respect the old people that get in a fight. Yeah, yeah. I'm crying out loud. Damn. <laughs> Got to tell you about this uh, NFL quarterback that just said that he's giving up something a lot of people would never give up. Yeah, he is going celibate. Yeah. Steve is going to tell you all about this. He's got the Migs report for you at six seventeen. BJ and Migs mornings on the Rock ninety nine point nine KISW. Nine point nine KISW, the Rock of Seattle. Well informed on the issues of the day, not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks to Kia Pua for giving us the Migs Report, and it's a very special day. It's time to screw off, stop being productive. It's Goof Off Day. Oh, nice. I don't know what you guys got planned to goof off, but do it. Today's the day? Today's the day. Perfect on a Friday. Uh, yeah, Friday's a perfect it goof off day. It was like a Tuesday. And like, hey, goof off. I feel like, you know, that's what Effort Friday's all about anyway. Pretty much. Yeah, just yeah. goof off and don't even worry about it. You got anything going on? Well, I'm heading down for my anniversary because tomorrow's my anniversary. Ooh, you're going to goof off, I bet, huh? Well, I'm hoping so. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Unlike Cam Newton. Because he just went on uh, the Late Show with James Corden and said that this month, I'm not going to have any sex. What? He's uh, doing these monthly challenges, apparently. So in January, he stopped doing fantasy sports. Okay. In February, he went vegan. Mm Mm-hmm. And he's going to continue with being meatless. I don't know what his preference is. Well, he says, and then people around him are going to be meatless, too. That's right. He's going to not give out the meat because, well, Cam said, I'm not having any sex for the month of March. So we got, yeah, vegan in February, and then March, I'm giving, uh, I hope this is an adult crowd, it looks like it is, no sure. climax. Woo! Oh. Shut the front door. <laughs> Straight up. No? No. I'm, I'm going through a transition right now, like, where, Oh, my I'm, I'm God. Ladies, you should at least done it in February, you got 28 days in February. No, <laughs> 
So how are you finding it? How are you doing? How I'm is just, it? It's hard. It's, I bet it is. Amongst other things. <laughs> so what made you want to take on this challenge? So for me, doing certain things that challenge me in the off season that I can't necessarily do. So now when the season comes around, it makes my mind stronger. I feel like if I go back and I say I did those things, I'm mentally stronger. I feel for whoever's going to meet up wow. with him in April, though, I tell you. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, he said he's so here. What he said was, is he's not going to finish his workout, but he's still going to work out. I feel like. Oh, do you think he's going to have sex and well, just be like, okay, you got to stop? That's the whole tantric thing. If you know about tantric sex, you're not, as a guy, you're supposed to not finish the workout. Yeah. That's the idea of tantric sex. So he is, I, maybe he's maybe he's doing that deal. All right, well, best of luck to you, Cam Newton. Yeah, you're right. It's it's difficult to not go, you know what? I want to finish my workout at the gym. I'm not going to stop like like right at the end and then leave. Yeah, try that this weekend, BJ. See how that goes. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, you know what? We have tried that before in our relationship. Oh, and yeah. how did it go? Yeah, it didn't go well for yeah, me. I, I mean, so. I, I wasn't Cam Newton. No. I wasn't enjoying it. No, you don't want the blue boys. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Though Dr. Drew says there's no relation between not finishing the workout and the Blue Boys, but I think he's lying. Now, it's not often that we get to talk about figure skating, but I don't know what's going on in the world of figure skating, but it seems to bring out some vicious behavior. Of course, we could yeah. go way back in the day. Hi. Oh, yeah. Good old Tanya. Hi. Tanya Harding. Hi. Yeah. And Nancy uh, Kerrigan. Jeff Galuli, my boy. Or Tanya, ha- well, you know. Somebody in her life, Jeff Galoui, decided, you know what? In order for her to beat Nancy Kerrigan, I got to take out her knee with a pipe. And that all went on. Well, now we've got a new story that's involving a couple of figure skaters where one figure skater is accused of slashing its rival with a skate blade. Oh, yeah, I heard about this story. This is happening in Japan. I guess there's this big uh, world figure skating championships. And uh, American figure skater by the name of Mariah Bell. Oh, well, maybe just a little. Yeah. Somebody because she's that. got a rival from Korea, Lim Yun Su. And apparently she decided, you know what? This is the best way for me to handle uh, the competition. I'm going to take my skate and cut her leg. Take out the competition. And here's the crazy part. Lim was unaffected by the incident and continued to skate and got a personal best of 72.91 points, uh, which was enough for fifth place. But still, she had her best showing even after this incident. So she really, I mean, she really didn't know the whole Tanya thing. Like, uh, you can't be an American trying to do that because people are going to pay attention. Bro, that happened in 94. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. these people that are involved in right. figure skating aren't even, weren't even born. I mean, maybe they heard about it, but it's... Unless they watch that documentary, I doubt it's on their radar. What about the Margot Robbie movie, I, Tanya? That was, I mean, come I on. I need to see that. Yeah. Have you seen it? I, I haven't, I, but I, I heard it's good. I have a few friends that say you walk out of that feeling like uh, Tanya was the good person in the whole situation. Like, you just feel for her because she was just a struggling woman that had no money and still figure, her family still figured out a way to get her to get to the point where she was. And some people, I don't know, maybe it's just my friends, they kind of were rooting for her. They were rooting for her, even though she and her, her goon squad. I just went and attacked an innocent person. I okay. know, yeah. I mean, well, wow, I mean, that's amazing. That's a great movie if it can make you feel that way. Because that story, for her. that story, they are just thugs in the, in the, at least from what I remember in the news. Yeah, but I, mean, I think from what I has anyone seen the movie? No. Apparently, she, according to the people I talked to, and again, I don't know, uh, but they that she didn't know anything about what was going on. See, I I don't know about that. I mean, that's the movie, right? Oh, the yeah. documentary is what I got to see because sometimes movies will, you know, they want you to feel good. All right. Well, you do that. That's our homework for this weekend. All right. Right, Tantric sure. sex. Okay. Tanya Harding yeah. studying. I can't wait for that. Apparently, though, these two, they were both trained under the same coach. And apparently, the uh, uh, the, the American Bell was bullying Lim for months. Oh, damn. A story I read said that she didn't do it intentionally. But, boy, what you're reading makes it sound like, wait, there's, there's all the reasons to believe that there may be some intention behind this. Yeah, because some people are saying, yeah, there's no, she, based on the evidence, uh, there's no evidence that she intended any harm. But then there's other people. People are like, no, it's, well, she's, yeah, she's bullying her. Yeah, if she's been bullying her, and and the, and she gets sliced by a skate. Okay, what what the? How could that be accidental? But that's what they're Speaking saying. Of skates, you know, hockey's going on right now, and the LA Kings continue to do some pretty funny stuff, and that's yeah. getting random people to jump into the broadcast booth with the booth with them to help do the play by play. Last night during the Kings game, they pulled up. Ron Burgundy. Whoa! That's right. Will Farrell showed up as Ron Burgundy. And here are some of the highlights. San Jose working it around, taking a few shots. Oh, what a small pass save! And cleared by the Kings. Take that, San Jose. Zero Stanley Cups. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that was...
was not supposed to happen. I pulled from the yes. team that I was announcing yes. for. No, when it comes to announcing sports, I have zero journalistic integrity. Go, Kings! Go, Kings! Go! Oh, no. Trip him. Trip. Yes! Go, Kings! Go! And apparently it helped, though. The Kings won 4-2. to two. And was he announcing for San Jose? It was, did you say, was he in the San Jose booth, or was he just being no, a homer in the Kings it, booth? No, it was the Kings, but making oh. fun of the San Jose. I love that. Yeah. I actually, there used to be announcers back in the day that would do that. And I love that. Because they, they, they're Straight they're up homers, yeah. Yeah, they're announcing for the home team. Who cares if they're really, under, you know, that's what you want. I mean, this is, and also, they've done this before. They had Snoop Dogg back in January. And if you didn't remember that, well, here's a, a little clip of Snoop Dogg having some fun with the Kings broadcasters during one of their games against Pittsburgh. Hands up. Oh, watch oh. out. Oh, he stalled on it. He fired on Cubs. Hold on now. Oh, get it cracking then. Let's go. Drop the sticks, man. Let's get cracking, man. To the middle of the ring. Let's go. Number three won it. I like that. Who was number three for us? Dion foot up. Dion, go get cracking, Dion. Yeah, him. go get him, Dion. Get him, Dion. Move, Dion. Get out the way. So when they do get into a competition like that, the referee has the, the, the sole control power to say, y'all not going to fight, right? Mm. They can tell you that. You don't have to listen. That's why I love this talk, man. That's why I love this, because you got to be a 100% man to play this, man. <laughs> they need Snoop and Ron Burgundy together. Oh, that's a great idea. It's just still it's still so weird to hear Snoop so jacked. Yes. You know, I, I, like, I, like really, really, really amp Snoop is just like, who? wow. Uh, of course, NCAA tournament's going on, and uh, Gonzaga won, so they're good. Don't okay. worry. They're number one seed. Of course, the Huskies, they play today. They're taking on Utah State. Number nine Huskies versus number eight Aggies, and that's at 350 on TNT. And I don't know if you heard, they just uh, uh, signed up uh, their coach, Mike Hopkins, for a few more years. They just uh, did a contract extension. Oh, that's a nice deal since, uh, you know what, the Huskies had a good showing. Yeah. My gosh, he's going to make two and a half million dollars a year and, and it's going to bump up to 2.9 and it's going to continue to bump up uh, through 2025 so he's okay for a while that's not bad i still no. think that's probably low though for what we know some college basketball coaches get i don't know what coach k gets but he's got to be getting like in the five figures at least yeah yeah but that is still good money i mean i wouldn't turn it down but i know that you know 2.2 million he probably feels like i'm such a loser as a basketball coach i'm only getting 2.2 and uh, shameless self-plug on uh, this Sunday. Come yeah. watch me mix things up in the squared circle with wrestling and Everett, baby. Without a cause wrestling happening this Sunday at 4 p.m. at the Normanna Lodge. That's right. Featuring the King of Dong style, Joey Ryan. He'll oh, be Joey there. Ryan's back? Nice. Uh, Priscilla Kelly, who's been in uh, the news in the world of wrestling for, quote-unquote, killing the business because of a certain act that she did in a match. She'll be there as well. Oh, was that the... the, the, the oh, yes, the tampon. Was, oh, okay. Thing. Wow. <laughs> Myself and a bunch of uh, other wrestlers are going to be at Darby Allen and uh, some great local wrestlers as well. So just go to WACProWrestling.com if you want to get information. Or just go on Facebook or just come out to Everett. Yeah. And kids under 10, get in for free if you bring them. So that's hey, that, nice. I, so do they get in for free if they say MIG stinks? Yes. Oh, okay. They have to say that in order to get in for okay, free. Okay, perfect. Uh, somebody just wanted to give us an update about the documentary with uh, Tanya Harding. I watched the documentary and the movie and both of them. I was rooting for Tanya. Oh, really? How about that? Wow. Uh, as far as weather, 65 degrees and sun. And thank you, Car Toys, for giving us the mix report. So how do you feel if you're Nancy Kerrigan? And all this, where people are actually rooting for Tanya and feel better about Tanya, and Nancy's like, that bee with no good reason at all just had people just wreck my leg. Yeah, I need to watch the movie because I, I, I heard that some people felt that ta- that Nancy Kerrigan was not all that cool. But Son of I, a gun! So now she's the now they got her to the point where she might be the bad guy. Yeah! Wow! Talk about a switch! Damn, dude! A double turn. See, this is what's wrong with America. one turn to heel, one turns face. This is what's wrong with like real life. I mean, as far as I remember, I never heard. And again, this was a while ago. Maybe, maybe you know, Nancy Kerrigan was not so nice to Tanya. I don't know, but. I mean, it's amazing a movie can make Nancy Kerrigan the bad guy. And Nancy Kerrigan's one that was attacked with a pipe. I, you know what's funny is that, like, that was a time without social media. I wonder what it would have been like. What kind of more information would we have received? Oh, you're right. When, yep. with nowadays, with how things come out and sometimes things are, 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 there's information coming out that we shouldn't know. And by the way, I would like to say right now that I think you've been negligent in your sports duty. I mean, you talked about hockey, but you didn't talk about the big hockey story. What's the big hockey story? That the uh, Devils got beaten badly by the Bruins last night. You know. <laughs> you forgot about that. I don't know why you didn't bring up that because, big hockey story. Dude, I pay for the damn hockey package. Yeah, you do. Game center. <laughs> drop a good amount of money on that crap, right? Yep. I stopped watching Devils. I don't games. blame you. So, you know what? Like <laughs> at this point, I'm just cutting my losses. I used to watch them just because I'm like, I paid for the damn thing. I need to take advantage of it and watch these games. Yeah, I can't even watch it anymore, man. 
It's it's hysterical because I can't wait for Seattle to yeah. have a team. Yeah, the Bruins really aren't. I mean, they're okay this year, but I do laugh because it's like, well, I know they're better than the Devils because every time we played the Devils, it's just been a win. Uh, and uh, I think you know, it's just yeah, I think the Bruins yeah. are like in second place in yeah, the Atlantic I, or something. But that's you know, uh, they, yeah, they are. And the Devils yeah. are still. Oh no, the Devils have worked their way up to Woo! the third worst team. Wow, good for you guys in the Eastern Conference. You can do it. Thank you, Ottawa, and thank you, Detroit. How far are you away from a playoff spot? About seven. Four teams. Do we need to talk about okay, that? Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Ah, oh, well, I had to bring that up. Hopefully, there's some good people they could draft. Yeah, yeah well, they, at some point, I mean, they they have to, right? They should have a team of amazing people. It's like the Cleveland Browns crying out loud. At some point, you would think. Yeah, you got to figure it out. And good luck to uh, T Birds and the Silver Tips, of course. WHL playoffs. Oh, going that's on. right. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be good for yeah. them. And uh, somebody texted us wanting a very important thing. I forgot to bring this up. Can Migs please report on what was served at the staff meeting? Was it barbecue <laughs> or Qdoba? I was praying that it would be tats. Oh, yeah. Thank it you for bringing that up. It, it was none, none of, of the above. none of the above. But it was one of my favorite. And, and not only did they serve from this restaurant that I like, but they served a dish from the restaurant that normally I wouldn't expect them to go get because the restaurant's not known for this dish to, unless you know the restaurant. And then it was served. Is it a salad? No, it was the pasta. Oh, yeah, but both are good. Oh, yeah, the salad is good. But that, that, that pasta, the pesto pasta that Pagliacci's has, I, right. you know, usually you think of Pagliacci's as just pizza, but I love that pesto pasta salad. See, I like the, yeah, not, first of all, yeah, Pagliacci, we haven't had that in forever. At least I haven't, so that was damn good. But yeah. I love that. It's odd that I'm a fan of a salad, but it's the one with the little chunked up pieces of ham. Yes, in. yeah, there's a name for that kind of salad. Delicious. I, yeah, I forget what it's called. It's, <laughs> it's a, called a delicious salad. Yeah, it's yeah. a delicious salad. It's an Italian salad, I know that. because you get Delicious you, Italian salad? salad? Yeah, but it's got Italian-y f- stuff in it more so than a regular chopped. I feel like anyway. No, you don't think, Danny? I can't. can't I think you're right. I can't remember the name of it. Though. Yeah, but it's good. Oh, we got a text uh, more about Ron Burgundy at the hockey game doing the play-by-play of the Kings game. Uh, he also made it on the kiss cam, and when he was on the kiss cam, he kissed a burrito. Nice. <laughs> Thanks to Aaron for sending us a picture of that I wish on I Twitter. Could kiss a burrito right now. I kind of, you know. <laughs> I'm liking Will Ferrell in the short doses, but I do miss when I really liked him. You know what I mean? See, Before I, I get overexposed, way. but I want I want to like him again. But I know it's just that character that I've been overexposed to. But I miss liking the character because what he's he, I think he's pump, pimping that he has a podcast. Yeah. yeah, Ron Burgundy has a podcast. Oh, that's right. Yes, you're right. I forgot about that. And for some reason, I just really don't have interest. Yeah, I want to. Right. I, I was obsessed with Anchorman. I've seen that movie so many times, but I think I got burnt out on it. Or yeah. burnt down on, on Will Ferrell being that kind of a character. Yeah. Did you I guys know. even see Anchorman 2? I didn't even yes. bother with it. You didn't? I thought we no. all did. No. I yeah. did. It was it, okay. It was all right. Oh, okay. I, yeah, the, the problem was... Is they, I wouldn't go out of my way to see it yeah. again, no. I, I mean, I, I, they, the trouble was is they tried to extend it a little bit. I think they gave Kristen Wiig and uh, and uh, and Steve Carell. I forget the character's yeah. name. Oh, uh, Brick Tamlin. Yeah, Brick. Yeah, Brick, yeah. They, they made a love story between Kristen Wiig and Brick. And it wasn't horrible, because I like Kristen Wiig, but it just wasn't Anchorman, mm-hmm. like, all the way through. But, eh, you know, I mean, it wasn't horrible. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I think it's worth a watch. Well, okay. Well, yeah. when I'm in a, it's yeah. not a horrible mood, I'll uh, watch it. Yeah, yeah definitely. And you'll get some old Anchorman style laughs, but I feel like I feel like we're just at a different age. You know, we're older, and we're just—it just isn't hitting us the way it is anymore. So we can you guys didn't actually say what the food was. It was pizza. Yeah, we got pizza. Pizza. Pagliacci. Pagliacci. Sorry, I forget that not everybody has a Pagliacci in their neighborhood. Yeah, is it oh, Pagliacci? Right. Is it Pagliacci? It's, How do you no, say it? It is Pagliacci. It's technically Pagliacci, but everybody yeah. says Pagliacci. It's, oh, it's okay. like, it's like my last name. The G is not yeah. supposed oh. to be hard, but it yeah. is. So that you, can, you can tell you're in an area where they don't know Italian very well. Oh, Steve with the hard G over there. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> Uh, and if you guys wanted to know what the salad was that BJ was liking, at least on the uh, Pagliacci's menu, it's the Pagliaccio salad. Yeah. That's the Pagliaccio salad. Pagliaccio yeah. salad. Yeah, don't say Pagliaccio, and you're, please. Were you thinking antipasta? Yeah. Is, or a chef it, salad. Chef salad. Yeah. Somebody said. Uh, yeah, I see. It's not, I mean, there's an Italian salad that's so good. got stuff in there, like different kinds of Italian, like meats, if you will. No, yeah. And yeah, I think that, the, the, but yeah, what well, Vicky said is the yeah, one we had. Yeah, we had garbanzo beans and all yeah, the other delicious exactly. stuff. Exactly. Salami. And that, yeah, salami, that's that's why it's not a chef salad or a traditional chop salad. Well, for yeah, if you uh, look it on uh, the old Google and uh, you go the uh, do the Guy Fieri one, it's the Italian stallion salad recipe. <laughs> I like the name of that. That's funny. <laughs> I have never eaten at a Guy Fieri restaurant. I'd like to do that someday. 
Just because it would be, I mean, I imagine they're well, just so it, man. over the top yeah, like Guy. Yeah, you do you. I bet there's one in California. Yeah, yeah, there probably is. I mean, I've actually eaten with Guy Fieri. You were with me, weren't you, Steve? When we, yeah. all, we all had dinner with Guy, and it was awesome. Um, but yeah. Ah, I'm hungry again. <laughs> all right, yesterday, Steve. When aren't you? Here, that's a really good question. <laughs> yesterday, Steve surprised himself by getting this one right. Louise Belcher on Bob's Burgers wears the ears of what animal on her head? Rabbit. Yes. Oh. Yeah, good guess. I mean, we think about well, what ears oh. would you have on your head, but uh, yeah. You want a shot at beating Steve? Okay, you got it. 206 421 Rock. We're playing Beat Migs at 647 on The Rock. Today's podcast is brought to you by bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagne, who's ready to answer your questions about bankruptcy. Travis, is it true that if you file for bankruptcy once, you can't file again? Even if you filed bankruptcy before, you can almost certainly file bankruptcy again. Different types of bankruptcies have different time limits between filings. In Chapter 7, full bankruptcy, you can only file Chapter 7 once every eight years. However, you can always, almost always file a Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 cases can be filed uh, uh, immediately following a Chapter 7. They can be filed immediately following a prior Chapter 13 case. Chapter 13 is a reorganization plan, so there will be some type of monthly payment, but it's based on your budget and your ability to afford that payment. So Chapter 13 is an option in almost all cases, uh, even with a prior bankruptcy filing. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Erin Ryan, political commentator, comedy writer, and host of Crooked Media's Hysteria. And I'm co-host Alyssa Mastromonaco, former White House Deputy Chief of Staff for President Obama. Each week on Hysteria, we are joined by a team of hilariously opinionated ladies to discuss the headlines from the serious to the absurd. We cover everything from reproductive rights to rom-coms and break down the political news of the week and cultural stories that affect women's lives. New episodes of Hysteria drop every Thursday. Listen on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.